Have you ever wanted to try one of those subscription boxes for men? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why I think those boxes are kind of BS and you shouldn't waste your time or your money on them. I'm also gonna point out one or two that I think are sort of worthy of your time and that you might wanna check out further. Man, I'm gonna rub some people the wrong way on this one. I can just feel it. Let's get into it. What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gents. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Baron, and on this channel, we typically discuss men's style tips, how to dress sharp, how to dress with confidence, and general QA sort of videos, kind of like this one today. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so like I mentioned, we are gonna be talking about subscription boxes today. I think most of them are not that great or not worth your time or your money. I am gonna point out a few that I like one or two specifically, uh, and that I think it's worth at least checking out and considering if this might be a better fit for you. So before I get into who they are good for and who they are not so great for, uh, let me get a few things out of the way first. One, I'm talking specifically about menswear related subscription boxes, but I am not referring to other kinds of subscription boxes, which I think are actually kind of cool. Number two, I did have our friends at Menlo Club, which they do have a subscription style box arm of their business to be a sponsor on this channel. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about Menlo Club later on in the video. They are not sponsoring this video, but I wanted to point that out uh, just for transparency's sake, that they did at one point in time sponsor a video on this channel. And I will link to that up in the card. Damn, is it over here? I always forget. It's over here somewhere. Um, check out the card if you wanna see that video. Okay, so let me start with why I think subscription boxes for men are not worth it. One, if you are a picky guy and you have a specific taste or a sense of style, or you are more advanced in your, I guess, style journey, then I don't think subscription boxes are meant for you. People are picking stuff for you and sending it to you. And people are, other people are curating things based on what they like or what they feel might sell best or what the general audience uh, or the general customer base of theirs might like and they're sending that out. So it's not really specifically tailored for you. And so at the end of the month or at you know after six months or three months or even one month, you have just a box of stuff that you won't necessarily like uh, or you're gonna put to use. So it's very much the opposite of what we talk about on Effortless Gent, which is how to curate and build a lean and minimal and versatile wardrobe. When you have a bunch of stuff, it's the opposite of that. So if you are that kind of guy, this subscription box model isn't for you. Two, if you are a guy who wants to learn about style and you are enthusiastic and actively learning about it, I don't think subscription boxes are for you because someone else, again, is picking out stuff for you. You wanna learn what to pick out for yourself and why these things work best for you. So again, if you are a guy who is uh, actively learning and wants to be better at um, curating and designing their own personal style, I don't think subscription boxes are for you. Also, if you're just a general neat freak like me and you don't like having a bunch of clutter, which inevitably is going to happen when you have boxes of stuff shipped to you every month on end uh, with like stuff that you're never gonna use, it's just gonna pile up and you won't use them. So if you are that kind of guy and you wanna stay really minimal and um, not have a bunch of stuff, then I don't think subscription boxes are for you either. Okay, so on the flip side, who are subscription boxes good for? That's a good question. If you are generally lazy and you don't really care, and let's say you are a shorts and t-shirt kind of guy and you just wanna step it up a little bit, but you don't wanna think about it, uh, subscription boxes could be pretty great for you. Things like Trunk Club, or um, I don't know, I'm sure there are others out there uh, that you know focus specifically on clothing, not accessories, but clothing. Uh, that might be a good option for you if you're lazy. A good analogy for this would be, um, let's say, like a cookbook versus ordering delivery, right? Uh, if you just, if you, if you care about the art of cooking and you care about ingredients, or you want to know um, exactly how to make something from a recipe, and you just care about the process, uh, then you would obviously go for a cookbook. You would go for a recipe so you can actually try and make it yourself because you care. If you don't care and you're just lazy, which is fine, and you just want to fill your belly because you're starving, then you order delivery. So first thing, if you are interested in the recipe or the history, or you want to know the nitty gritty of how to do something, then you're going to want to build your own uh, your own personal style. But if you just kind of, if you're lazy and you just want clothing, uh, and it to be done for you, then maybe subscription boxes are the right way to go for you. Two, if you have no sense of style whatsoever, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, then maybe subscription boxes would be a good option for you. You might still be figuring out your look or your general style and you have to try a few things. Maybe you're a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy or a shorts and t-shirt kind of guy and you want to step it up a little bit. Maybe you're just like one of those guys who go to a bunch of conferences and you wear a conference swag as your wardrobe. Swag. Then yeah. 
uh, subscription boxes might actually be your best friend. The reason for that is because there are stylists on the other end of these boxes and these companies who basically curate, they talk to you and then they curate a wardrobe for you to try out. And so, you know, if you're really lazy and you just have no sense of style, then obviously this is a great way to go. Finally, if you want to exert bare minimum effort or you want to stay on top of like the latest trends and looks without having to do it yourself or pay attention to yourself manually, then yeah, uh, subscription boxes might be a good idea for you. Also, if you just don't have any accessories at all, there are a few menswear accessory subscription boxes that focus specifically on that. So that's a good place to start if you have nothing. Let me touch upon uh, Menlo Club a little bit. I, like I said, they're not sponsoring this video, but I think Menlo Club is good in the sense that one, they are focused on more streetwear and activewear. So if you are looking to kind of venture that direction to see if you like more casual stuff, more streetwear stuff, Menlo Club has some cool options and you don't have to be on their subscription uh, box model. You can buy clothing directly from their website. You can just pick and choose the things you want. I'm not gonna get super into them uh, in this video, but I did do a whole video uh, about Menlo Club and just like different styles and uh, stuff that I got from the brand. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and click on the link up here. One uh, quote unquote subscription box for clothing that I think is good is Amazon Prime Wardrobe. By the way, this is not sponsored by Amazon, although I wish they would sponsor me, that would be awesome. Uh, it's not actually a subscription box per se. You're essentially shopping like you normally would on Amazon, but there is a specific Prime Wardrobe section. And what you can do is fill up a box with your clothing choices that you made. And essentially you can try everything on at home. You have, I think, seven days to try on different sizes and different styles, anything that you order that's in this box. And you can send back whatever you don't want. Uh, and then they just charge you for the stuff that you are keeping. In that sense, I think uh, a box scenario is good because you're still doing the work of you know, learning about your own style and figuring out what looks good on you. Uh, and if you are a fan of this channel and of our content on Effortless Gent, you are going to be more aligned with this sort of model where you can uh, just choose the right clothing for you, have it sent to you, try everything on at home in the comfort of your own home, which is the best, and then just sending stuff back that you don't actually want. Okay, so bottom line, what do I think about subscription boxes for men? I can't endorse them fully. I can't endorse them really at all, except for the two that I had mentioned earlier. Uh, because I truly believe that guys should be able to understand their own personal style and then pick and choose clothes that make sense for them. Essentially curate a wardrobe that is yours. Uh, you don't want someone else doing that for you. You want to have the knowledge and the know-how uh, and the understanding of what your lifestyle is, what your budget is, uh, what you do for work and life and how clothing can fit into that. You want to understand all of that. And when you are depending on someone else to pick out clothes for you without first learning it on your own, then you're kind of doing yourself a disservice. And I think because of that, I don't uh, endorse guys going the subscription box route. I did mention two earlier that I think would be um, decent. So the two of them are Menlo Club and um, Amazon Prime Wardrobe. I think Menlo Club, you can check them out. And if streetwear is something that you're interested in and you wanna try some things out, I think it's a good idea to, to check that out. And you can also just shop directly on their site, uh, menloclub.com. I'm gonna link to everything in the description box below. And also Amazon Prime Wardrobe because you are essentially shopping for yourself. You just happen to be um, packaging it up all in one box, being able to try stuff on at home, and then keeping what you love and sending back the rest. So it's not a subscription box in the traditional sense. I think that's it. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. Uh, and if you loved it, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.